The Coin Lady channel is pleased to have you back. In this video, I'll give you the lowdown on what's happening from the viewpoints of a few different analysts, including the blockchain supporter and Credible Crypto, two of my favorites, who have rather different takes on the situation. In the near future, it is almost certain that Bitcoin will reach new all-time highs and altcoins will experience explosive price increases. On the other hand, there are blockchain supporters who do not believe it is even remotely likely that the stock market will reach new all-time highs, but who see Bitcoin's current price as a sign that the market has reached its maximum potential. Despite this, they still believe altcoins will experience explosive price increases. That is, essentially, the essence of what I have observed from him. Since many in the XRP community are wondering, what does this mean? I'll give you a rundown of the most recent developments. Does this spell disaster for XRP, for example? Or is XRP about to undergo a meltdown? Also, isn't it really fascinating? The answer could vary depending on the person you ask, some would say yes without a doubt. Things are going to go apart. But if the proponents of blockchain technology are right, I'll just state that I have my doubts about XRP reaching a new record high. The reason being that this has never happened before, it is Bitcoins, the new alternative. Nothing like that has ever happened before. I won't claim it's impossible, but I will give you my two cents anyway. On the other hand, there's this work that seems paradoxical at first glance, but is, to be honest, rather intriguing. On the other hand, there's this article that claims stock market all-time highs are typically followed by even more all-time highs. Now, I know it sounds contradictory to the majority of cryptologists, but I think we all understand that when something is peaking out, it becomes more obvious. Probably not the best moment to introduce FOMO into it, isn't it? Though in the crypto realm, things can be slightly different, things just go uphill very, very, very fast. After then, a lot of things go back to earth and never, ever reach another peak. This is unique. However, you will find this to be incredibly interesting from a stock market perspective. When the stock market does reach a new all-time high, there is empirical evidence to support this claim. For the past 50 or 60 years, or perhaps even 11 times in the past, it has happened nearly every time. If you skip ahead one more year, the markets will be considerably higher. We have lately seen the stock market reach several new all-time highs. According to the numbers, the markets are likely to be significantly higher next year if that is the only criterion considered. Obviously, there are more factors to think about at this point. At the outset, I'm simply providing that one piece of information. I would be surprised if Bitcoin doesn't rise in value if that's the case and if XRP doesn't reach new all-time highs as a result of the stock market continuing to rise. Every piece fits well. I should preface this by saying that I come from absolutely no financial background. No matter what I say, you shouldn't buy or sell anything, I'm not a financial advisor. Making movies on YouTube regarding cryptocurrency is something I like doing for fun and as a pastime, I'm just an enthusiast. Coinbase coin price is 54 cents, Bitcoin price is $51,567, asset class market size is just over $2 trillion, and the crypto fear and greed index is 72 out of 100 as of the moment I am shooting this video. So, it's all about being greedy. To help you understand why Bitcoin hasn't piqued your interest, here's a post from yesterday afternoon and one from the blockchain supporter. Here are the top 20 altcoins in terms of developer activity compared to Bitcoin since October with a focus on how active they are. Those holding Bitcoin who were waiting to enter have largely been waved goodbye by the dev coins. For that reason, it is completely clear to me. That's right, Bitcoin hasn't had a massive upswing yet. Since 2017, I've been informed that I'm on the same page, thus I'm significantly less interested while holding Bitcoin. It makes no difference if Bitcoin reaches a new all-time high, with regard to the percentage increases coins like XRP and other altcoins offer actual life-changing chances for wealth creation, not Bitcoin. There is already too much money in the market and it's hard to achieve a multiplier effect, so Bitcoin isn't really where people should be putting their money anymore. That section is completely clear to me now. Now, the blockchain supporter posted this on February 15th, 
I had featured it on my channel that day because I found it amusing. Screen captures from South Park's Imagination Land episodes, followed by his rotation through Ovation Land. If you've watched the show, you'll understand, if not, that's okay, too. But it's funny in a way. This afternoon, though, he reiterated that. And this following. He was aware that as he typed each Bitcoin address, it spread its wings and flew to alternative currency. And it's true that a wide variety of coins have been falling off. Flared ones have always piqued my interest, at least in my own case. It appears that the recent upswing in price is merely a small amount of price discovery. Additionally, I will definitely admit that you're right about my feed being full with altcoin conversations and Bitcoin being a distant memory. This post from this afternoon about the blockchain came to my attention. This is also true of my alternative coin holdings. Without a doubt. Jumping up and over. Consequently, the next question is, is Bitcoin dead? Another piece from the proponent of blockchain technology. As at this very moment, this is from earlier this evening. He penned the following, this is not expansion in the stock market. You would be looking for fundamental and technical elements with an expansion in stocks, wouldn't you? It's the reason Bitcoin hasn't reached a new record high yet. Everyone will point fingers at a catalyst that appears 75 days after the Dow Jones hits a new record high. And therefore, we will revisit this and observe the outcome. New all-time highs in the stock market are happening, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video. By the time you get to the following year, nearly every single one of those 50 or 60 years has passed. In my opinion, the market has been higher 10 times out of 11. That being said, the blockchain doesn't guarantee that it will. I am grateful that Becker was willing to offer his honest view here. Doesn't perceive any signs that suggest equities will continue to go upwards. I get that, too, but it's a minority view. Yet, it does not imply that he is incorrect. Not to mention his impressive hit rate. For that reason, I worry that he might be correct, or he might be completely wrong. Next, there was this, from chart analyst JT, who appears to share a similar outlook. The last time there were this few stocks trading hands was in August 1929, he noted. Looking forward to seeing you all here at the Bitcoin Weekly Closing. It was, of course, the Great Depression era of 1929. Yay! You may be wondering, what's the latest stock market news, and Backer has been bringing attention to it on the blockchain. Many of you have probably heard him argue this point as he has done it so often. You will definitely have if you adhere to their advice. However, when looking at the chart's retracement levels, it appears that what has transpired so far is similar to the stock market conditions just before the 1929 crash. This, however, does not indicate that we will enter a depression just because prices have fallen. Also, Becker has remarked that before while watching. The level is concerning, though. One thing is certain, regardless of whether the stock market undergoes a blow-off move to finish its lunacy or if we have already reached our top, as JT also noted and published. Sadness ensues at the end of 2024. Years ago, we made this decision, and I will not budge from it now. This is a minority view, I repeat. It is not always the case that someone is incorrect simply because they are part of a minority group. In addition, I brought attention to Bloomberg's Mike McGlone, who has been in the industry for decades and has also observed that the current trend appears to be a transition leading up to Consider the Great Depression of 1929. Again, there are a plethora of credible sources stating that, but that doesn't mean everyone agrees. And this leads us to trustworthy cryptocurrency, last night, reputable crypto shared a video that you should really watch. In terms of all the technical analysis, he went into great length about his beliefs on Bitcoin's future, especially the short term. This is a 16-minute movie that he posted here so I figured I'd just give you the skinny. Critical crypto is still anticipating a further upswing, especially in light of the fact that Bitcoin might see a 10% decline from its current level, which would bring its price down to almost $46,500. However, according to him, it would be concerning if the price dropped back down to $44,000.
since that would go against the structure that trustworthy crypto believes we are in. According to him, it's very normal that we're currently merely organizing or consolidating. In addition, if Bitcoin experiences a 10% downturn, all coins could see a 20 to 25% decline, particularly those that are weak compared to Bitcoin. Also, I was thinking something along the lines of, well, XRP is currently pretty weak against Bitcoin when he stated that. If that becomes apparent, I'm curious if we'll see a huge decline. It's not that he lacks conviction, that's inevitable, this is all you're saying. However, he will merely perceive these as chances to make a purchase. From a broad viewpoint, it would have little effect on his outlook. That is the end of the video. Appreciate it if you could subscribe to my channel and give it a like. Coming up shortly, farewell.